today, Bible story is one of those parables. <laughs> no worries. No Today's Bible story. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I could bring all this stuff in here at once instead of making two trips. I just need to get it all on the table. Here we go. Whew. Made it. Sorry. I just wanted to get all of that here one time. I didn't want to have to like go back. Oh, hold on. Oh, that was my lunch. Okay. All right. I think I'm ready now. Whew. We're continuing our month of forgiveness. Let's read what forgiveness is all about. Say it with me. Forgiveness. Deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. When you forgive someone, it's kind of like you're giving them a redo. You're giving them a chance to rewrite the story and do things differently. I know I love it when someone does that for me. Forgiveness is a great way to treat others the way you want to be treated. It seems like it should just be easy to say three little words. I forgive you. But sometimes that's super hard to do. We need God's help to forgive. I'll tell you what else is hard to do. Carrying a lot of stuff from your car to the house or from your car to your classroom or from your laundry room to your bedroom. Me, I'm a one trip kind of a person, but sometimes carrying this much is heavy to bear. Just the other day, I was rushing to get out of the house with all my stuff like this and I snapped at my husband to turn on the light for me but he was busy and he had stuff in his hands too. It was not very kind of me to put my burden on him. More on this in a minute. We're continuing God's big story together as we look at some of the amazing things Jesus did and said. You might remember that years and years before Jesus was born God promised to send a savior to the Israelites. When the time was right, God sent Jesus to be born to Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem. Over the past few weeks, we've seen how Jesus grew from a small boy who astounded adults in the temple to a grown man who was able to do things that seemed impossible. Jesus' reputation grew as he performed miracles, healed people who were sick, and taught people a different way to understand their relationship with God. We've also seen how some people the Pharisees and religious leaders weren't happy about what Jesus was doing. They didn't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. So they looked for ways to trick him, trap him, or prove that he wasn't who he claimed to be. Often, when someone asked Jesus a tough question, Jesus answered them with a parable, which was like a short story to help them understand his point. Today's Bible story is one of those parables. Jesus told this story because his friend Peter came up and asked him a question. Peter asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. In other words, 70 times seven equals a lot. I think Jesus was saying that you should forgive as many times as it takes. Jesus then told Peter a story about a servant. Let's watch this, and I pray you take this to heart as Jesus is the one telling this story. Here we go. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, No, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please? The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold, along with his family and everything he owned, 
to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him, and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please! His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No! But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Okay, so it's clear from Jesus' story that we should forgive others, not just because it's a good idea or a nice thing to do, but because we ourselves have been forgiven. God has forgiven us, so we should be quick to forgive others. I know that's true for me. I've messed up but God has forgiven me. That means I can forgive others when they mess up. I've been forgiven, so I can forgive. I had a friend in college, her name was Kristen, and she became my roommate and we loved hanging out together. She was a cheerleader and I was a runner. She became a Jesus follower and invited Jesus to be her friend forever at the end of our freshman year and everything was amazing. We went to the same church, we both got jobs at the church, and then our friendship stopped. Somehow, some way, we stopped talking to each other for a while. Not one year, not two years, but four years. <gasps> Everyone say this with me. That's a long time. Ready? That's a long time. So one day, I reached out to her via email, and I asked her to go to coffee with me. I wasn't sure what would happen when we met up. I was so nervous. I had butterflies in my stomach. I had no idea if she would be mad at me or even if she would talk to me. I prayed and prayed leading up to our coffee date. I asked Jesus to remind me of his forgiveness for me, to help me know how I am forgiven so I could ask Kristen to forgive me, even though I had been hurt by her. So I get to the coffee shop, I sit down outside, and then I see her. Okay, she's smiling, that's good. And then she sat down and I said, Kristen, I'm so sorry I hurt you. And before I could say more, she stopped me and said, I'm sorry too. Oh my goodness. The relief I had when she forgave me was amazing. Remember all that stuff I had on the table at the beginning of today's message? I was carrying a huge burden and I didn't even realize it. I was able to let it go that day following what Jesus says about forgiveness. Jesus' parable helped his followers understand how important it is to forgive. The king in the story is like God. The king was willing to forgive his servant, but the servant wasn't willing to forgive someone else who owed him. We have a choice to make. Number one, is there someone you need to forgive? Who is that person? Is it a friend, a sibling, a teammate? I want you to pray about forgiving them. God forgives us when we mess up every time. We should pass on that same forgiveness when someone else has messed up or hurt our feelings with something that they've done or said. Remember, forgive others because God forgives you. So you might need to forgive someone for hurting you. Or number two, is there someone you need to ask for forgiveness? Have you done something to hurt someone else? Who do you need to talk to today or this week to ask them to forgive you? Let's pray and ask God to help us do this today. God, thank you for Jesus and his example. Thank you for his story about 
We should forgive others no matter what it takes over and over again. I pray that you would help us to remember the forgiveness that you have given us so that we could turn around and show that to others. In Jesus' name, amen. As you remember, you are forgiven this week. And as you choose to forgive, let's also work on our memory verse to help us out. Make allowances for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Colossians 3.13. This is a great verse to remember how to forgive. And I want you to share this with someone else. So like this video and subscribe to our channel and then share it with somebody who needs to hear it. And as always, we hope to see you Wednesday nights or Sunday mornings here at Crossroads.